So before I review the movie Moana, there was a little short film called Inner Workings. This was a really great short to be honest. I was actually very impressed. I was invested for the entire six minute running time. I actually thought the first half of this short was actually a pretty good start. It was pretty good. You know, it was funny. It was simple. A nice little gag of how the human brain works and just how the entire body works and how the brain is taking control of everything while, you know, the brain is telling the heart and all the other other organs inside the body like know this know that but then the second half of the short gets surprisingly very deep and that's when from that moment on I went from liking the short to loving the short in an instant I was very impressed especially by the second half it was more deeper and it had a very great message about just taking advantage of life finding your own balance in life finding the good things in life maybe as far as criticisms I would say that there's this one joke that I thought was actually pretty repetitive the first time it was funny it was this RIP joke the first time they used it was funny, but then the other times that they would use this gag, I was all like, okay, yeah, that's getting repetitive. That's not really funny anymore, to be honest. But I really did like everything else. Like I said, the first half of this short, I liked a lot. And then the second half, I loved. This was overall a really great short. So on a letter grade, I would give Inner Workings a B plus. And now let's get to my review for Moana. Everybody, this is Twenty Tired Dude here, and I'm here to review Disney's. Hi, everybody. I'm Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Moana. So Moana stars. I really want to get this name right. I'm pretty sure I'm not. Alui Cravalho, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, uh, Jermaine Clement, Nicole Scherzinger, and Alan Tudyk. Moana tells the story of this young Hawaiian girl named Moana. She is someone that wants to explore out into the ocean, but because of this whole story of this demigod named Maui spreading this curse, Moana must go out and find this demigod named Maui so that way he can restore the heart and and break this curse. Moana is a film I was so excited for. I could not wait for Moana. Since last year, when I've been hearing about this film, I was on board with it. Let me just start off by saying this. The animation of Moana is beautiful. It's absolutely breathtaking. The details on the ocean, the island, the character designs, the animal designs, like on the pig and this chicken named Hey Hey. I really liked, I loved all of that actually. I thought animation wise, this movie is breathtaking. I have to really credit the animation team because they did a glorious job with the animation. The character of Moana I actually really really liked. I really got behind her character. She's the character I rooted for the most. She was another strong Disney I guess princess. I thought the actress that voiced her like I said the actress, this is her first film by the way, Ali Kravalho. Once again, I'm really sorry about butchering that name, but I have to try my best because she really did a very great job. This being her first film, and let alone her first film being an animated film, as far as voice work goes, she honestly did do a very good job. And I think that's very nice that Disney actually casted a Hawaiian girl to voice this character. I really love Moana. Definitely one of the strongest female characters that Disney has to offer. I also did really love the songs in Moana. Most of the songs, at least, I thought were so good. They had really great lyrics. They get stuck in my head. Particularly the songs You're Welcome, the song sung by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. That song I cannot get out of my head. And then this other song, I believe it's called We Know The Way. I'll put it right here if I get the song title wrong, but that's another song I 
absolutely love. It also does have a very great message about being courageous and standing up for what you believe in. I thought Moana definitely did have those great messages that Disney is known for offering for sure. Maybe not like the deepest message as far as Disney animated movies go, but it's definitely a very well done message. I definitely do think it fits for the film storytelling. Also can't ignore the fact that Disney actually did their research on the Polynesian culture culture like I've heard they've done all kinds of research and that's something I have to admire because you could tell that they were taking the Polynesian culture very very seriously and for them to actually study that just to create a movie is something that I truly truly respect and to see the whole Polynesian culture to learn about it just from an animated film was really breathtaking from, you know, the tropical island to the oceans to the sea creatures to the chicken. Because I actually heard in Hawaii, the chicken, which the character of Hei Hei is in this film, I heard they're not exactly the brightest. So they portrayed what they saw at Hawaii and they brought it to life in an animated film and I truly do appreciate that and it's one of the biggest positives I can give Moana for sure. And thank you so much Moana for not throwing in a shoehorn romance plot between Moana and Maui. I really do appreciate that because it's not necessary and I'm definitely glad they didn't go that route. Some of the humor actually did really make me laugh. Hey Hey the Chicken, I thought he was a pretty funny character. I really liked him. I really loved this pig that I wish we got to see more of because he was a character that I found to be absolutely a Adorable. I really like Moana's grandmother as well. And I kind of appreciate the fact that you don't really have a villain to focus on throughout this film. Like you do still have an antagonist, but it's not like the big, big, big focus. The big focus is obviously between Moana and the demigod Maui and their banter back and forth because they do banter quite a bit here. And I did think that Dwayne The Rock Johnson's voice performance as Maui was really great. Same with everyone else. I thought as far as voice performances, everyone did a very good job really lending their voices. Now, the problems I do have personally with Moana is that I thought the adventure was gonna be Moana and Maui traveling island by island, and there really wasn't too much of that traveling. This is very small scale as far as adventures go, and I'm fine with simple adventures, but I felt like this adventure that Moana and Maui go on to, it was wasn't really as exciting as I thought it was going to be. It was just, they go on this adventure and that's it. There wasn't really anything more to that, to be honest. And something I do have to comment is Maui. I really did not care for this character for the majority of this movie. Towards the third act, I actually did start to feel for this character because that's when he actually finally gave a backstory about him. But before we get to the scene where he tells his backstory, I was actually getting quite irritated by Maui. And granted, The Rock, his voice performance is great, but the character I'm describing, I really did not care for his character. I thought he was very arrogant. I would think that maybe their little chemistry would work and that's something else. I wasn't really feeling anything between Moana and Maui as far as this friendship that they have because the majority of the movie is just them not liking each other and them having to get along with each other. It just didn't quite click with me and I know that's a cliche that Disney uses in a lot of films and for the most part that normally works but when Moana and Maui for the majority of the movie banter I wasn't really getting into that to be honest and it wasn't really until once again the third act where their friendship really started to click with me. A lot of the humor really didn't work in Moana for me and that was my one worry when I went to this film because as much as I did really like the trailer the humor wasn't exactly making me laugh like a lot of the humor was a really huge missed opportunity for me and watching Moana unfortunately that one worry I did have going into this film honestly came true. The last thing you would expect to see is humor that deals with pee jokes. Like it felt out of place. There's also this little tweet joke that Maui makes that I was like, really? 
because you know that one joke is trying to relate to Twitter. While I did really like most of the songs, there are some times where the songs don't exactly flow well with the scenes. A certain scene can feel rushed, and the way that certain song would flow with that certain scene, I thought it could have had a better flow. And just a few of the songs in general, I just didn't really care for. I didn't really like them as much as I would have liked to. Also, while Jermaine Clement does do a really great job voicing this crab, that scene felt tonally out of place from the rest of the movie because the rest of the movie you know the tone is more calm but then once you get to Jermaine Clement's scene this movie all of a sudden gets all kooky and random and it did not fit for the rest of the movie that one crazy scene felt so out of place and the song that this crab sings I believe it's called shiny did not work at all. I actually was not a fan of that song. That might be an unpopular opinion, but I was not a fan of Shiny. I was just hoping they would cut to the next scene because I felt like after a while, that scene was just kind of dragging on for me. And that goes on to my next issue with Moana, is the pacing. I thought the pacing was actually rather slow. First of all, it takes a long time for Moana to actually start this adventure to go and find the demigod Maui. And I was actually really enjoying the buildup for a while. Like when the movie starts, I was getting really into it. And then when they sing a couple of musical numbers, I was really getting more into the film. But then there comes a point where it takes such a while for the main adventure to actually start that I'm starting to get bored watching Moana and I don't want to feel that way. Once Moana does go on her main adventure, I'm gonna say after she finds Maui and after Maui sings that great song, You're Welcome, the movie actually becomes pretty dull. This adventure was supposed to be exciting. From the way this movie was marketed, it was supposed to be exciting and adventurous and magical. And watching the actual adventure in itself, I wasn't feeling any of that magic. I wasn't feeling any of that wonder. I was just sitting there just rather bored watching it because not much happens in this adventure. And then when we get to the climax, I was actually really enjoying the climax at first. I thought the climax was actually pretty exciting. But then the climax, when we get to, I'm gonna say the last five minutes of it, that's when the pacing became so rushed. And then the climax in itself felt very anticlimactic. And I know Disney was trying to set up for a more heartwarming and powerful message. And trust me, I respect them for going Going that route but it didn't really work for me and normally when Disney does do something like that it normally works but with Moana how this climax ends it felt rather like a cop-out because of that it really took away some of the suspense that the climax had in the first half in my opinion so overall you guys while i do respect moana while i do appreciate what it tried to do i'm not gonna lie when i say that moana disappointed me this is one of the most disappointing movies of 2016 and unfortunately didn't blow me away like it did for a lot of people and even if it didn't blow me away I was hoping to say this is a good, solid Disney animated film, but I can't even say that because Moana does not stick with me. The more I try to think about Moana, the more it keeps slipping my mind. When you compare it to other Disney films like Tangled, Wreck-It Ralph, Big Hero 6, this year's Zootopia, it's not memorable. I really don't like to say this, but this is Frozen all over again. Granted, this is a slightly slightly better film than Frozen but I couldn't help but come out of Moana so underwhelmed like I said it is slightly better than Frozen but I am gonna give Moana the same rating I gave Frozen which is two and a half out of four stars. I know this is a bummer and trust me I'm just as bummed even saying this but it's just not memorable. So you guys in the comments down below let me know what you think about Moana and between the two Disney films that came out in 2016 which one did you enjoy more? Zootopia or Moana? This is 22 Tiger Dude here and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!